Good morning and welcome to Crossroads. We are so glad that you are here worshiping with us today. If this is your first time at Crossroads, we would love to meet with you. So if you would, fill and tear out the Connect card that is located in your bulletin and put it in the offering plate. Or you can hand it in to a greeter and receive a free welcome gift from Crossroads. If you or someone you love has experienced loss this year, whether loss of a loved one or loss of a job or just had a rough season of life, we want to let you know about a special opportunity coming up on Monday, December 5th at 7 p.m. called A Quiet Christmas. This will be a reflective service of healing and hope where we'll come together and just remember God's presence in our lives. We'll have a time of communion as well as anointing prayer. Child care will also be available for nursery through pre-K. Hey ladies, you are invited to One Heart's Christmas Cookie Swap and Ugly Sweater Contest on December 9th. Please bring four dozen cookies to the swap. There will be door prizes for the ugliest sweater. That's a compliment. Refreshments will be served. This event will be held in the cafe. And guess what? There is no charge for this event. Yes. Child care is provided, so please RSVP for that child care at oneheart at mycrossroads.co by December 7th. So if you would like more information about the events in the life of Crossroads, you can go to mycrossroads.co. Good morning, Crossroads. I'm Carol Burnworth. My husband Terry and I have been members at Crossroads since the warehouse days. We're also members of the Bower Small Group. We meet on Tuesday evenings and we are a senior group. Some of us are a little more senior than others. They've asked me to talk about the story, the Bible study that we're doing, the book that we're all reading. I've got to tell you, I had some reservations in the beginning. I asked myself, do I need a new tool? Do I really need another Bible study? Well, obviously the answer is yes, and the tool turns out to have a new perspective on it. It's putting everything into a very nice timeline, and it's easy to read. I ask myself also, 31 weeks, church-wide, really crossroads, do we need this? We do. 31 weeks is not much of a commitment when you think about the times that maybe you, like I have tried myself, to read through the Bible. Several years, sometimes took longer than a year, I actually made it through cover to cover. But I always seem to miss some important points. The story has been highlighting. It just highlights the people of God and how God has loved us through the times when we've turned our back on Him and through the times when He's raised up a new leader to a new generation to have us follow Him and be faithful to Him again. I know what I'm giving my kids for Christmas this year. My daughter and her husband will each get a copy of the story. My granddaughter, Hallie, is going to get a copy of the preschool storybook from the story. I would really encourage each of you who may not currently be a member of a small group or part of the Sunday school class here at Crossroads after the services to study the, the story deeper, to get involved. You'll find that it's an experience that will take you further and further into the Bible. It covers a lot of the points that you too may have missed when you were reading the Bible. 